Hello, I'm Stefan Verhey from the uh, Cardiovascular Center Antwerp, Belgium. I'm an interventional cardiologist and I'm pleased to share with you the results of the Reducer 1 uh, study, which uh, is now showing the one-year results from the registry. It's a multi-center real-world clinical trial of the treatment of refractory angina with the coronary sinus reducer. Refractory angina is a major public health uh, problem worldwide, affecting more than uh, 100 millions of people, and at every year adding uh, 150,000 people with refractory angina. Angina is a real problem for the patient as they are suffering from chest pain. Uh, despite optimal medical treatment, they are having uh, no options for revascularization, and on top of that, they have uh, frequent hospitalizations. So the goal actually is to improve the quality of life, reduce the burden of angina, and make sure that they have less uh, hospitalizations. The reducer is a device that is, uh, has a narrowing and that is uh, positioned in the coronary sinus to treat a refractory angina. And this has been proven in two randomized trials, the COSERA trial, which actually was able to demonstrate an improvement in quality of life and in a reduction in anginal symptoms. And that was confirmed in a second randomized trial, which was recently published, which was the Orbita Cosmic trial. The Reducer 1 is a post-market multicenter observational study enrolling 400 patients. The primary endpoint of six months was accepted this week in JAK cardiovascular interventions, which is great. Today I'm going to share with you the 12th month outcome of these 400 patients. Altogether, we are reporting on 351 patients at 12 months. So the main result is that about 70% of the patients had at least a one class reduction in anginal symptoms, and 26% of the patients had a reduction of at least two class symptoms. So that is very impressive. And when you look at this graph, you will see that there is a shift from right to left, more going towards the um, less symptoms regions. And again, when you look at the initial data, about 72% of the patients at the enrollment had a class 3 or 4 angina symptom class. And this goes down to about 18% at 12 months. So that's really a significant drop towards an improvement in, in, in anginal relief. At the same time, the procedure has a very low MACE rate at 12 months, 2% cardiac death, 0.6% stroke, and 5.6% MI. And as I mentioned, the quality of life improvement is important, as well as functional capacity at 12 months. When you look at functional capacity, and more specifically, you look at the six-minute walk test at uh, 12 months, you see that there is an increase of about 32 to 33 meters, which exceeds the 350 meters, which is known to be clinically uh, relevant for these patients. As I mentioned before, frequent hospitalizations is a real problem in these patients. And when you look now today at the data at 12 months, the emergency department visits have significantly dropped. In the year prior to the uh, implantation, about 33 of the patients have one uh, visit to the emergency department. And this at 12 months has dropped after reducer implantations to about 13%. And this in a total of 192 patients at baseline to about 66 uh, visits uh, at 12 months. We also had a, uh, a preliminary peak at the three-year data. So looking at sustainability. And what we see here is that well, as you remember, we started off with 72% with CCS class 3 and 4, and this dropped to about 18%. And this stays like that, well below the 20% at three years. Similarly, you have the increase of quality of life going from 38 to 60 and remaining above 60 at three years. So again, confirming the sustainability or durability of these data. Uh, at three years. So in conclusions, the Reducer 1 registry evaluated the shockwave coronary sinus reducer in real-world patients with refractory angina despite medical uh, therapy, optimized medical therapy, and limited revascularization options. The one-year outcomes that 
have been presented show a continued safety and effectiveness. There was a low MACE rate, there's a positive CCS class improvement and quality of life improvement. And on top of that, there's also a reduction in emergency department visits. So the improvements in CCS class and quality of life are also sustainable through three years. The CASIRA 2 trial is a randomized controlled trial, is currently enrolling and we are very much awaiting the results for this trial. Thank you very much for your attention.